Hey everyone, in this episode, we are going to be covering the recent tragedy that happened in Monterey Park, California. It left 10 innocent people dead. The gunman was Asian. This happened within the Chinese community. And although uh, mass shootings seem to be, unfortunately, a common occurrence in America, it's definitely not something you expect to happen within the immigrant Asian community. So I do think that there's uh, some stuff to unpack from here. First off, RIP to all 10 people who passed away. I heard that they were all in their 50s, 60s, and 70s, which means that their families are impacted forever by this. I know that they would probably ask for privacy in this time. We're going to be donating to the GoFundMe, the Monterey Park Lunar New Year Victims Fund, and I hope that anybody else watching this that feels compelled to do so, uh, do that. I think in all the internet and the media talk about um, what happened, the motive, uh, who's going to politicize this event, who's not able to politicize this event, the actual impact on the families can get overshadowed. And uh, yeah, so we just want to go ahead and put that out there first. Uh, point number two, Andrew, this is kind of personal for anybody who's obviously lived in the 626 San Gabriel Valley, particularly in Monterey Park, very nearby Garfield and Garvey, where this occurred. And, um, you know, that's just such an iconic place in the 626 for, for, for good memories. And now it's like completely gonna have a different energy and a different image and it's just something that you never want to see monterey park trending for this reason Mm -hmm. you know i mean uh, a mass shooting is probably one of the last things you would think would occur in monterey park yeah no definitely and and that it is shocking and uh i think it's monterey park in this area the 626 in general is going to be changed forever maybe um, so I guess the, we're going to move on to just basic details about what happened. Obviously, if you guys want to read all the articles, you can, we're not going to get into too much detail, but these are the things that, uh, have came out from the events that happened. Yeah. Obviously there was a 72 year old Asian male, you know, he was a divorcee. He was looking for his wife. He didn't get an invite to the ballroom lunar new year festival, you know, event that they had. He was very, very disgruntled. I heard he had actually been off the grid for several years. Um, I'm assuming, obviously nobody knows, very, very poor mental health. He gets a hold of a very high-powered firearm, and he went to to do the worst thing possibly Mm -hmm. that you could imagine at about 1030 at night. Yeah, and so after the first location in Monterey Park, uh, he does go to another dance hall in Alhambra, which is also close to where we used to live as well, and uh, he uh, attempts to look for more victims. However, he is stopped by a 26-year-old Brandon Say um, who disarms him and kicks him out and calls the police. So shout out to Brandon. You know, you need to give credit and celebrate the heroes while they're there. Um, But yeah, and then uh, he ends up in Torrance, California in a white van and he offs himself and and ends that kind of whole ordeal. And that's pretty much the general details. Of course, there's a lot more details coming out of like interviews with his wife and and other witnesses and stuff like that. But uh, overall... Yeah, it's a tragic event. And I think it leads to a lot of different reactions, David. A lot of different people weighed in. And uh, some people are taking it, obviously, super tragically and very seriously. And then, of course, uh, as the internet would, there's there's people who are not taking it as seriously. But I guess what are the main, like, reactions to this? Yeah, well, I guess that, of course, there's always the sorrow on a micro level in the sense of like people saying, man, this always happens in America. Why does it always happen in America? Why are we always willing to accept this? Or other people go, you know, it's just a part of being American, almost like the structures that we have built in that a lot of people are not changing. Obviously it turns the more further up and up, you go into a huge debate about gun control, non gun control, personal responsibility, mental health. And, um, you know, a lot of people sort of were saying, oh, look at the mainstream media because it's not like a um, racist white male. You know, this side wanted it to be that. Or because it's not a criminal of another color, this other political side wanted it to Mm -hmm. be that because that's what would serve their political agenda more so. But because it was almost like an internal older Asian immigrant, you like internal thing, there was a lot of talk about people like, oh, well, nobody knows what to do with this in the sense of like, this side cannot jujitsu it in terms to, to push their larger macro mm-hmm. agendas, and this side cannot use it yeah. to push their political resolutions and bills. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of things involved. I think that the vic- the names of the victim not not being released, and, you know, I'm sure that's partially because of the families of the victims. They don't maybe want the names out there, but I think, like, you know, uh, 
you know, everybody's just gonna, it's human to just try to relate to things that feel closer to you or people that look like you. And because this happened in the Asian immigrant community, particularly, I mean, we're talking about Garvey Ave, like we we're very familiar with this area. It's like, yeah, it's, it's like, I guess a little bit outside of just mainstream America period. So right. I think there's some people talking about that, but I mean, either way, obviously like people are kind of wondering what's next. Like, what does this lead to? Is it actually going to lead to gun reform? Because I'm sure he got this weapon illegally. It seems like an illegal weapon to have in California and California does have very, very strict gun laws, but of course right. it doesn't stop uh, bad right. people from getting weapons. Yeah. I mean, I don't really want to get <clears throat> into the gun aspect, even though a lot of people are making it about the gun, right? Because he had a Cobra M11. M11. It's almost like a in between a pistol and a machine gun, like some sort of like hybrid. Um, I would say that you know, for me, there is a discussion about mental health, right? Especially mental health in the older Asians and immigrant community, mm -hmm. because that's got to be the sector of the Asian community. First of all, the Asian community in general doesn't have a lot of exposure to mental health talk, even the second gen kids that are born in America, much less right. than a second gen of another. They don't group do of it people. in Asia. But, and it but, but let alone, you can imagine only the, the, that the mental health is uh, talks or, or rehabilitation is really low amongst the older people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that hopefully my hope is that, you know, uh, because gun laws are so hard to change and uh, there's so many mass shootings and, and nothing changes. So I, I don't want to talk about that. But what I think can change is systems in place and this whole different way of looking at mental health uh amongst the older immigrant asians right a lot of these immigrant asians they they went through a lot of things in asia they're from that generation i mean he's 72 uh he remembers a lot from asia and and coming over here might have carried over possibly right. some people said he potentially and these are all like i don't know you know some people said he had ptsd from the war sure. he whatever yeah exactly and i think that you know, when someone in the community looks disturbed and obviously he was actually part of the ballroom dancing community years ago, left it, maybe he kind of got like X'd out or left out of things and then it, it rolled and, and, and kind of snowballed into that thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's tough, but people need to get checked on. And this is yeah. the nature of America where, you know, uh, people do have mental illness, people do get angry. Um, there's a lot of things in this country that can make you angry. And then also there is access to weapons, yeah. you know, so. And especially like lonely men yeah. that are not grounded in society, that are not seeing people that do not have hope for a better day. That are um, not part of a community. Yeah, that are essentially like off the grid. Yeah. You know, they're like detached from societal systems. Yeah. I mean, and even like if you want to take it to an Asian aspect, if you uh, know about sometimes like the mass incidents that happen in Asia, right? Where there's actually no guns, but sometimes people do it with knives and stuff and uh, cars, whatever. yeah, cars or whatever, you know, oftentimes it's, um, a, a, a clap back or a, a revenge on society. Maybe right. they're poor. Maybe they're starting to see all this wealth flow in. And, you know, these are things that is hard to change, right? It's hard to tell people, Hey, don't be wealthy, <laughs> right? Like you can't, tell people that, but that's why I think the talk about mental health and just having those conversations and checking up on people who have fallen off the grid or fallen out of the group and fallen out of like, I guess, you know, public society, like it, right. it is important to check. And out. I think in all these arguments about everything, you know, there was an argument about like, why isn't this getting more mainstream coverage? Oh, is it because it's Asian on Asian? That's a discussion, right? I think that's part There's of it. There's a discussion about like, is it about gun control or gun culture or gun availability? Or is it about assault weapons? But then now the gun was even a half assault gun, half pistol. You know, that's why they called it an assault pistol. And then there's a whole another debate about Asian and mental health and stuff like that. And it's just like, man, I just think that in all of that, it's all like a stew. Mm -hmm. You know how a lot of people are like trying to focus. When you stew a bunch of elements together, how can you say what was like the dominant element? Yeah. I mean... Dude, it's even shocking. And I think the reason why you never expected in the Asian community, let's be honest, like gun violence within the Asian community is super, super low. Like right. statistically, it is statistically so low. So it's almost like in certain Asian communities, and I'm just saying certain Asian communities, it almost, and we grew, and we lived in the 626, by the way. This is so, this is why I'm talking about it. It's like, it almost feels like guns don't exist. Like it's not a gun toting area it's not even there's not even a lot of like gun ranges people maybe right. do airsoft they they barely think about weapons so i think when 
you know, something like this happens, it's like, whoa, like we, it's a reminder that unfortunately you do live in America and that, well, and, and that their guns are plentiful here. Yeah. You know? I would almost say that the shootings that I have seen inter-Asian in even that area are more almost common amongst uh, immigrants than from sure. the, the kids yeah. that are like well, born second gen. Statistically speaking, people of the same community or group or tribe are the ones more likely to attack each other. So yes, it's a lot of like, there have been immigrant crimes. This is not the first time that right. a Chinese or an Asian immigrant has killed other people in that area. But this, the, the level of this is, is massive. Usually it's like a, you know, like a one-on-one type right. of thing. But anyways, guys, um, you know, I, I, I think, again, it's a hard thing to talk about. You know, it's not supposed to be a fun video, but hopefully you found it interesting and hopefully this helps people have this conversation because, you know, everybody's saddened by this right. and everybody's shocked. And, and, um, and I think it's easy to be derailed by the comments. Yeah. Like I said, people are yeah, trying to just, pull it this way, pull it that way. Some people are mad that nobody can use yeah. it, you know, but obviously... As an Asian community, a Chinese community, or people who have lived in the 626, you're just sad for the families and looking for a way forward mm -hmm. from this yeah. point. Yeah, I mean, it, it just goes to show you there are deranged, broken, angry men of every group. That's, that's a fact, you know. Um, you guys, make sure you check out the GoFundMe link. Um, it is verified, so, you know, I know that that's a thing that people... All right, everybody, sure. uh, go ahead, leave your comments and leave your thoughts down below. Check out the GoFundMe links. You guys can check out other links to some of the news articles that have more details if you want to delve into it. Um, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we're out. Peace.